Last night, we told you how 30 blocks of mailboxes were hit by a city snowplow. It happened over the weekend. We heard from dozens about how hard it is to get the city to pay for replacements. Channel 8's Rachel Miner spoke to a family who's been waiting for two years. Rachel? You can't see it now, but when the ground isn't covered in snow, John Isaac's front lawn looks like this. Two years ago, the city snowplow came through clearing the neighborhood. Instead of just plowing snow, they plowed John sprinklers right out of his front yard. Our neighbor even called us and said, have you seen your yard? And we didn't think much of it. We went out there and looked and we saw uh, sprinklers and we saw the actual tubing of the sprinklers. They actually pulled it right out of the ground. John and his wife filed a claim with the city, but got nowhere quick. After getting the runaround from the city, John appeared at a city council meeting. He was told it was a city subcontractor who was plowing for them, who destroyed his lawn and sprinklers, and the city wouldn't be paying up. It was kind of upsetting because we felt that we filed all the proper paperwork. They told us to do it. If they didn't want to pay for it, they should have told us right up front. I called the city attorney's office a dozen times today about the issue and never received a response. On the city attorney's website, it says they will investigate and evaluate the claim and determine whether any payment will be voluntarily made. Not all claims are honored, even if the correct procedures are followed. To have the plumbing and sprinklers fixed would cost John almost $400. Two years later, he still hasn't fixed the lawn or his sprinklers, fearing it will just happen again. It's upsetting because I just feel that they don't care about us. And I know it's a bad, bad way to feel. Reporting in Lincoln, Rachel Miner, Channel 8 Eyewitness News.